financing opportunities, but they're not always uh, specified. And I do think in the absence of uh, clear authority for local governments uh, to borrow money, that this is increasingly important, that other funding mechanisms are clear, they're understood by local governments, and that there is uh, predictability in terms of uh, how to access those resources. We've heard that uh, there are projects, uh, particularly agro-processing and tourism are identified, where cooperation uh, uh, between local and central government officials needs to be uh, organized, needs to be promoted, and overlapping functions uh, need to be avoided and clarified. There's one thing that I've learned in 40 years of local government is that when everybody's responsible, nobody's responsible, and I think that there is an opportunity today to clarify those roles and responsibilities. Uh, we've heard today that uh, securing access of predictable funding is more important than adding new functions. Uh, I could not agree more. Uh, local governments have ample responsibilities and functions. The challenge that Albania faces, and this is a challenge faced by countries around the world, including my own uh, United States of America, is that the responsibilities of local governments and the expectation of citizens for services far exceed the resources available to local government. And hopefully there are some steps that can be made to close that gap, and that relates to reform of the unconditional grants formula, as, as well as uh, making the property tax uh, a more reliable in robust form of support for local government finances. So those are uh, a, a, a few uh, key reactions, and again, I appreciate the opportunity to be here. And I'm also pleased that, they're represented, that there's a representative here of the Ministry of Finance today, because as we look at all the dimensions of decentralization, the political dimension, the administration dimension, and the fiscal dimension, I think that it's generally acknowledged that uh, the dimension that requires additional reform, additional support, additional action it, it is related to fiscal decentralization. And I know that we're working on some key actions uh, with the ministry and hopefully over the next year there will be some uh, finalization of those discussions and we'll realize the opportunity that territorial reform presents. Thank you very much. dhe kiter uh, uh, do e lama mërësirën për në fund për Ministrinë e Financave për marshë së kramin sot e kemi ftuar edhe si eksperti për shtetit dhe ndorë uh, ka qënë gjithmonë pran në platformave tonë për dhe le uh, kalenderon që është dhe sot më lejoni që uh, të e kaloj të jallën për një ragim më uh, kolegut uh, uh, nga Zbica profesor Stefan Pafli i cili ka asistuar dhe le të përnë që në studimin e zonave funksionale, o më kosishtë edhe në programin në pjanë dhe ekspert për menajimin e financave publike dhe planifikimin. Zotë të përnë. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, let me congratulate to all the achievements made so far for modernizing the public sector in Albania, especially at local level. The function area program is just one more step towards this avenue required to make the territorial and administrative reform effective and fruitful. I think the territorial and administrative reform is, is a huge step forward towards improved condition for decentralized policy making and more professionalism at local level. However, further steps must follow in a logical and combined way. We have heard reactions already from Peter Calavell and also we have seen the conclusions made by Erdogan Kashta. I fully agree this is the right way to go. So it's about the reallocation of functions first and then what
to follow is the allocation of adequate finances uh, to the local level. Adequate finances, and I will uh, talk a little bit more about that, this means that funds for the municipalities should be appropriate, predictable and more stable. Compared with international practice, the expenditure share of subnational governments in Albania is much too low. Already today, the resources of local governments are not sufficient. The function area program service survey identified gaps in service delivery, especially in remote areas. How can new municipality take over the responsibility for service delivery if resources are lacking? International practice shows that LGO mergers are not resulting in big cost savings. This is an illusion. On the contrary, service delivery is usually becoming more professional and therefore more costly, however better. The reallocation of functions and taxes will have different per capita cost and revenue impacts per municipality. For this purpose, the elaboration of a global balance for each municipality might be considered. Such a global balance shows the financial impact of all reform measures for each municipality. Fiscal equalization should then be tailored in a way that all municipalities can cope with the results shown in their global balance. If currently efforts are made to change the equalization formula, this would certainly be a step in the right direction. However, when the functional reallocation process is completed, the system of fiscal equalization needs to be readjusted again. Now let me come to another issue. Each time when I come to Albania, I realize that the infrastructure has improved again. Uh, Friday I came from the airport and saw the new road. It was wonderful. That's good. That's really good to see. However, when we see the functional area programs, we hear that there is still a huge catch-up need with infrastructure out in the territory. Local governments should be enabled to finance at least small-scale infrastructure projects themselves and to co-finance bigger infrastructure projects together with funds, for, with funds from the central state. Municipalities should be enabled to have better access to existing funds. The funds must be managed flexibly enough to respond as much as possible to the needs as articulated in the functional area program. To end with, let me consider two local economic development strategies which are prominent in the functional area programs for Northern Albania. Typically, these strategies are dedicated to tourism and agriculture. Am I wrong when I have the impression that more and more tourists, especially eco-tourists, and very often elderly people are coming to Albania? This is my impression when I take the plane coming from Vienna to Tirana. I think tourists have started to recognize the beauty of this country. Therefore, this strategy seems to meet a growing market demand. That is my impression. I don't have any figures on tourist nights in Albania, how much they spend on average and where the money goes. If this is not already done, it would be good to carry out some economic impact studies on ecotourism and tourism in general. And what tourists like and still would like to have more.
current strategies seem to me more supply side oriented, less demand side oriented. Maybe in the future the demand side should also be considered. Regarding agriculture, this supply side orientation is also prominent in the functional area program I have seen. Probably you know there is this risk of a so-called peak production cycle. When the agri consultants go to the farmers and tell them that there is a shortage of pork and that the price for pork is high, they are told to invest in pork production. It takes some time until this new strategy is implemented. Then, probably, all of a sudden, when bigger scale production starts everywhere, too much pork is available and the price for pork collapses. In such cases, it's not enough to consider investment decisions on the bottom up. A top-down appraisal of all local strategy may be needed, considering the capacities of the market, that is, the demand side as well. This could be the role of the concerned line industry. And I fully uh, agree with what Peter Carvel has said that there must be cooperation between local governments and the concentrated unit of line ministers. However, I must agree, increasing peak production was never the idea in the functional area programs. On the contrary, the ideas are very much diversified, reaching from cereals to milk, fruit, vegetable herbs, tobacco, and so on. In addition, I like the idea to consider agriculture in an integrated way that is including food processing, its potential for tourism, and the need for marketing, branding, and for improved road infrastructure in order to create bigger markets for local agri-products. All in all, I'm of the opinion that the functional area program comprises very valuable information for the new local governments. The functional area program has the potential to facilitate socio-economic development in the new territories. That was one of the main objectives. Congratulations again and thank you. Thank you.